Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing a full build and review of this new 172 scale Swift Boat from Ravel. I want to thank my friends over at Ravel for sending this kit into the channel for review. Now, this is a new kit and a new tooling from Ravel. Even though they had previously released this same boat in 148 scale, this is now in 172 scale. It's got 93 parts, it's about 8.39 inches long, and this is a subject that I really enjoy building. I don't do a lot of boats on the channel, but I'm really looking forward to doing this one. It's got some great cover art on the box here. It's got the official US Navy stamp there. That's cool. And this is a level four kit. On the side, we've got some features, length, number of parts, again, 93, molded in light gray, water slide decals, a little bit about the US Navy patrol boats that they used in the Vietnam War, a full paint guide. On this side, not much. On this side, they've got some pictures of a completed build and it looks really nice. Box art on this side. And on the back, we've got the skill level call out, so what you can expect by skill level four. Distribution information, a picture of the parts layouts and the decals, and also the clear parts. All right. So once again, I'd like to thank Ravel for sending this into the channel. Also, thank you to all my current subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that little bell so you get notified when I upload new content. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. And for a lot of you out there who watch the channel but don't subscribe, please, I'd really appreciate it if you did hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my links down in the description below. And also, check out the shop for some really cool scale model themed merchandise, all designed by me, a scale modeler. All right, so let's crack this box open and see what's inside. Okay, first up we have the hull, and it's a nice size little boat. We've got Ravel stamped in there, 2021. Moldings on these are crisp, nice detail there. This looks very nice so far. Okay, next we have our first bag of, our first and only bag of plastic. Okay, on the first sprue we have part of the, I believe, Part of the interior or the upper deck. I think this is the upper deck with the gun turret. Got some nicely molded ladders, some wheels there, gun turret mounts, some railings, sides of the main bridge there. Very nicely molded. Lots of detail in these parts too. There's our machine gun, very nice life preservers, some seats, yeah, that looks really good. On this sprue, we've got some more of the cabin parts. The front of the cabin, the back of the cabin, some interior parts to the cabin, parts for the gun turret up top, the uh, shafts for the props. Uh, looks like more machine guns, some uh, fire extinguishers, very nicely molded fire extinguishers there. Like some cleats, more railings, very finely, nicely molded railings. We're going to have to be really cautious cutting those off the tree. Our props, a little bit of flash on the props, but overall not bad at all. Here we have our decals. All right, decals look very nice. Looks like we've got a couple options for the decal, for the coloring and the decaling of the boat. That's nice. Okay, so here are our clear parts. Now these are a little different than most of the clear parts we're used to. This is actually just film. So you have to actually cut out the windows and glue them into the spots on the bridge and around the hull. One thing I have learned from the past is don't cut right around the black lines. You wanna leave a little material around there so you can trim it to make it fit really good and also give your glue something to attach to. Here we have our instruction booklet, a nice color instruction booklet, all of our paint callouts. Here's where our parts layouts are. All right, and then right into construction. Looks very straightforward, even though there are some tiny parts here we'll have to be careful of. Everything looks pretty straightforward. And this is one of those kits where you're gonna have to paint as you go for sure, because you wanna be able to paint inside a lot of stuff. 
Lots of detail on here, lots of detail. Okay, here's one of our options for painting and decals. This is the PCF-103 Coastal Squadron 1 from South Vietnam, 1967 to 1970. Here we have our PCF-65 Coastal Squadron 1 South Vietnam, 1966 to 70. And our PCF-9 Coastal Squadron 1 at Tau, South Vietnam. If I mispronounced that, I'm sorry. Uh, 1965 to 1970. So, like I said, this is a nice looking little kit and should be very fun to build. And I'm looking forward to building this. So once again, thanks Ravel for sending it into the channel for review. I really appreciate it. So I am going to clean off the bench, grab some tools, some glue, some paint, and get to the build. The water line on the hull is actually molded into the plastic. I'm going to use some very thin masking tape so I don't lose the line after priming and painting. The sprue connection points for this kit are really well placed, which means that there is very little cleanup on the majority of all the parts.
bring out the detail in a lot of these gray colors, I'm using a combination of dark gray and black paneline accent colors. This will add shading and dimension to make it look a little more realistic. I'm using some white thread for the rigging on the rails. After I loop it around each post, I put a drop of super glue on it to hold it in place. Here I'm using some brown panel line wash to darken the thread to make it look more like rope.
And here we have it, friends, the completed Swift Boat Mark I from Ravel. This was a really fun kit to build. I haven't done very many boats on the channel, and I must say this one was fun, and it just came out great. Once again, this is a new kit. It did come out back in 2021, but it is an all-new casting and an all-new kit for Ravel. And I have to say, I think they did a really good job on this kit. The molds are nice and clean. There are a lot of small parts, but they're well molded. And overall, as far as flash and seam lines, very little, very easy to clean up. So overall, a great clean kit. The instructions provided with the kit are very well laid out, very easy to read and understand. They are in color, and it just makes for a really enjoyable build experience when you have nice instructions to follow. For the decals on this kit, they have lots of decals included with lots of options. You can have different paint schemes and color shades of gray and the decals to go with them. The detail that they've packed into this 172 scale version of this kit is really nice. There's great detail on the mast, the radio towers, the interior, the deck guns, and just really nice, really a nice kit from Ravel. So for my version of this kit, I was shooting for the 1966 to 70 era, and I think I got it looking really nice. I didn't over weather it, I kept it pretty basic, and that's primarily because it, it just it's a really nice looking kit. Lots of nice detail. They also give you options for doors opened or doors closed. Lids on the rear box can be posed open or closed. I did mine all closed, that's just how I wanted to do mine. So yeah, just a really nice kit. I also added the uh, rigging around the guard rails here in the back part of the boat. I just used some, all I had on hand was some white thread, so I used that. And then I used a little brown Tamiya Paneline accent color to tint the white thread, and it came out looking really good. The props underneath and the rudders all look very nice and clean. The ports on the Lower side of the hull back here are molded in and in place, but they look really nice. I also added some whip antennas to the boat. All I did was take some clear fishing line, glued it to the antenna mounts, and then I painted them in a steel color, and they came out looking really good. So, if you're looking for a really nice swift boat from this era, uh, I suggest you get one of these. It's a really nice kit. It's a really nice boat. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it. There's a QR code down here in the corner. Just scan it with your phone and you can pick one of these up to build for yourself. So once again, I'd like to thank Ravel for sending this into the channel for review. Another really nice new kit. I'm glad to see Ravel's coming out with some newer kits uh, this next year. So I'm looking forward to possibly getting and reviewing and building some of those. So if you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and educational, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the channel. Also, if you have any questions concerning this kit or any of my other videos, please leave me a question down at the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So that's going to wrap up this video, friends. So as always, I hope you're all having a great week. Be safe out there and go build something.